Yeah, we've been talking about this relentless heat wave for a while now, and today I brought in a heat gun to show you just how hot it is. We are at the Mission Trails Visitor Center at 6 p.m., and the gun is showing 86 degrees outside. But we did meet some families who are braving the heat and still enjoying their weekends. I'm too sure. From Santee, with temperatures peaking in the 90s, it's been a little rough. To Mission Beach, covered in umbrellas. Oh, when we were out at the beach, it was pretty hot. San Diegans are still getting outside. Mommy, in the way. Yeah. yeah, we drink lots of water to stay cool, don't we? Drinking plenty of water, like two-year-old Josie Tompkins. Do you want to have a sip? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you want more water? <laughs> okay and finding their own ways to stay cool in the heat. You know what, I have spent most of my days at the YMCA at the pool and just enjoying the coolness of the pool lately. We were like, we'll just bring out some awnings and hope that we get a nice shady spot, which we did. And People walking along the Santee Lakes took advantage of the nearby splash pad. So we made sure we got uh, passes for all the kids to stay wet and go into the water. Hikers at Cowles Mountain say they came out as early as they could wake up. I usually always like bring a shirt out. I don't have a hat, so I just try to keep the shirt out. And then uh, when we can, we'll take a couple of breaks here and there in the shade. And Although signs along the trails warn if it's hot and sunny, you should probably stay home. It's good advice for tomorrow as San Diego braces for the hottest day this week. Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News.